Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chick. And you want to hear coincidence? Yeah, they say it only happens in bad movies. Well, guess what? We just found out that, oh, it just so happens that the day before the Connecticut kindergarten shooting, that there happened to be a new bill on assault weapons. Yes, in Congress. Hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you know, it, it, it really is because uh, here's the thing with being a news, but really a news person, V.S. the Bull can tell you that sometimes you get things from anonymous sources, which if I had the ability, I could actually backtrace it, but I don't have the ability. But it, it basically it said that um, letting us know that the assault weapons ban was on the books before the shooting happened, and that they fully expect that there will be one or more assault weapon massacres <laughs> <coughs> in, in the foreseeable future in order to push Congress into a total weapons ban in this country because there'll be such an outrage over a thing. So, but um, and the problem is is that they're trying to point out the fact that the, the mass murders are happening an awful lot under a Democratic administration and they're all Democrats with mental problems that are doing it. They said that, um, you know, that they said, here's how they put it. Coincidence only happens in bad movies on the sci-fi channel made in Canada. Mm -hmm. And overwhelmed Newton officials seek temporary halt to gifts. Oh, I don't understand this bit. Okay, um, that uh, mm -hmm. what are you going to send a family that just lost his kid? Um, I, okay, the, here's the thing: is we get the, we got this bit of touchy feeliness that um, that if you if there's a death, you're supposed to. Uh, to be emotionally impacted by it, and you want to show how emotionally impacted you are it by sending a ton of old clothes to somebody that just lost their kid and doesn't have a kid anymore. It's, it's, it's ridiculousness. I mean, okay, I can guarantee you, okay, we'll put it this way, at the JC knows we lost my, we lost um, my son, and you know, we lost my son in an auto accident, and I took it just exactly like you should take it. I busted up the building I was working in, and I wanted to go kill the guy that killed my son. Of course. You happen to have been on alcohol and marijuana, folks, but don't worry, marijuana is not deadly. And, uh, and they, you know, so I wanted to go take care of him. So that's, that's normal feeling to say, well, you shouldn't feel like that. You should basically forgive the person that did it. The, you know, which is, no, I never forgave the person that did it. I, I, I'm, I'm a German and Irish and American Indian. I mean, basically, we keep hatred forever for people that kill members of our family. There was an Irish Republican Army. <laughs> yeah. My grandmother was a family member of the Irish Republican Army, and my grandfather was a Prussian officer. Yeah. And, my, and I, have a, I have an Indian chief or two behind me, too, that used to scout people a so. lot. An Oklahoma City house fire kills mother and four children. I know. Uh, what happens is they turn. Uh, okay, we, we can. Get, but this house is sort of like those places there. This is a beach property, and they really don't have heaters in beach properties. So you end up with space heaters in your floor, and a lot of people will simply leave the space heater on, and it's not meant to run continually. And they all. And uh, if it's like this place, also, it's got a fuse breaker system that's like 50 years old. You know, almost every home that is available out there is not built to handle modern electronic appliances. So you, even if the auto catches fire and everybody in the house dies because the, it just goes boom like that. Remember, the whole house, everything, this is an old place, so there's virtually no plastic in this house. But most homes today are mm -hmm. built with plastic everywhere, and they, they just go like a boom. Hawaii Lieutenant Governor picked to fill NOE's. Senate seat. Oh God, that was about the worst a decision. They, they replaced a, a, a native Hawaiian Nisei with a Kali. And that did not go over well with the native population in, in Hawaii. And they said it was done by, oh, B.S. the Bull said, who did they say do it? The President of the United States ordered it because the, the uh, Hawaiians and the Japanese Americans tend to be more moderate than do the people, than, the, than their white brethren. So. Hmm. And North Korea could have U.S. within missile range, says South. Okay, uh, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing, I shot a missile, I shot an arrow into the air, it falls to Earth, I do not know where. If they just point it in the direction of the United States, it's bound to hit something. Hmm. So it's got the range from where they're at, because what people don't really understand, we parts of the United States are got awful close to the Soviet Union. 
You can walk, I mean, uh, okay, they were, uh, Sarah Palin was being facetious when she said that you could see across the Soviet Union on a good day. Actually, you can from Alaska. You can see the Soviet Union. You can. Union. You can. You can walk across the ice. That's how, he said, that's how the American Indian came to this country. They came across the ice. Mm -hmm. And they, that, that, because the American Indians are an awful lot. I know. And the, so. They sat there and like totally. They basically made fun skewered. of the fact, which is the truth. I mean, you actually do business in the winter season with the, with the Russians over on the other side because they trade back and forth furs and everything. And three Afghans dead a new blast as US, at U.S. based in Afghan East. Oh yeah, because if you're going to show your tail to the enemy, they're always going to help you run. That's <laughs> what my, um, my father said that um, uh, at the Battle of the Bow, my, my father said that, at, uh, that my father's communication officer for Patton and my father said, Patton told everybody, he said, you only ever go forward because if they, if you show your tail to the enemy, your enemy is going to kick it. And North Korea could have the U.S. within missile range. So like that well, that. I know, because they're sitting there, because it is important. You lose track because it's, being rip, it's called rip and read, folks. Ah. And so you know we're live. Sir, Syria envoy seeks peace as clashes rage. Oh yeah, because they're going to have peace with Assad remaining the head of the country. Because they're going to, it's going to be just like it never happened. Because they can't boot, they can't beat him. If you can't beat him, basically you go back to square one and you start the battle all over again. And when both sides have been rebuilt, Japan's aim gets second term to tap allies for cabinet. Oh God, I mean this is ridiculous. This is the guy that started their their fiscal cliff. He started it, so they put him back in charge. And he's the guy who spent money like it was water, and he's now back in charge again in a country that basically thrives on austerity. Their, well, you know, their welfare system got out of control. And U.S. moves to sell advanced spy drones to South Korea. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and people are throwing fits. Okay, everybody's throwing fits. Obama simply is hung up on... Uh, here's a guy that totally hates modern technology that can't live without modern technology. Spy drone basically means that you basically are invading other people's airspace, which is a violation of all the international treaties. Mm. If you're up above, if you know, like, if, say you're 80 miles up in the air with a camera to shoot the earth, nobody gives a rat's ass. But I, I know a drone is flying 200 foot above you, you tend to see those things. And Samsung Electronics seeks U.S. sales ban on some Ericsson products. Oh, yeah. Samsung is, okay. Uh, here's one, we're going to go back to Admiral Yakamoto after Pearl Harbor. I fear that all we have done is unleashed the, uh, a mighty giant. Uh -oh. this is, what happened is Apple pissed off Samsung, who is the world's largest company. And Apple, I mean, Samsung is just after everybody under the universe now. Why? I don't understand why they want to ban some Ericsson products. Uh, because uh, Ericsson, Sony, and Eric, Sony Ericsson is on the run. Oh, they're and just like trying to you, you stick it in further. Go over the edge. Healthcare tax hikes for 2013 may be just the start. Oh yeah, uh, that everything's 150 pages of new taxes. But what the people on the left that basically never bothered to read it that support the president? Well, we need to tell because mm -hmm. it taxes. It's going to tax all the union. All the union. Uh, remember, they're not paying for all this stuff now mm -hmm. under the new plan. You can expect to have your healthcare programs being taxed by the, you know, the ones that you're not paying for, you've got to start paying for it, folks. And Herbalife stock tumbles for fourth day on pyramid scheme claims. Well, yeah, they said, well, it was just a disgruntled inventor. Well, okay, there are pyramid schemes and there are pyramid schemes. What happens is the people at the bottom of most, most legitimate companies build by selling uh, distributorships. It's perfectly legal. But the problem is that the people at the bottom that get screwed tend to get very unhappy and then they go to court and sue. Mm -hmm. And many unwrapped returns, store traffic on day after Christmas has been picking up. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean like totally unwrapped. Yeah, though what happened is, is that um, uh, the stores are now changing no matter what it is. Most of them are totally changing their return policies now. Mm -hmm. They are charging you restocking fees on open electronics. They're doing everything that they didn't do before the holidays they're doing now because they're trying to force you to keep the merchandise that you don't want rather than return it because you're not going to be able to get what you expected before. Ah, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, um, <clears throat> if we change it. Often things are done in politics 
because it's expedient to get the thing, get your legislation passed, even if it is done wrong. <laughs>